Okay, this is going to be a quick, easy tutorial inside of Capture One Pro on how I like to enhance a model's eyes. Um, I have my image ready to go. I've made all the edits and adjustments that I wanted to make. Uh, but to me, at the moment, the eyes, her eyes still look a little bit flat. And I think that um, you just bring out the colour and the clarity in them a, li a little bit more without taking it too far and it looking unnatural. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer and we'll call it something uh, like I pop. Now let's um, zoom in on our image. You can see it's nice and sharp and she's got beautiful blue eyes. So um, we're just going to, we're going to take them to the next level and, and really make them the, uh, the focal point. Coming back to our layer, we're going to make a couple of, um, a couple of small adjustments, setting adjustments, we're going to bump up the exposure. Uh, we'll increase the contrast. I'm going to take the saturation up to somewhere between so 50 and 70. Let's go right in the middle. Let's go 60. Obviously, if your model has you know brown or grey eyes, you, you're not going to want to um, touch the saturation setting too much. Um, in fact, you probably just even leave it at zero. Come down the sharpening. We'll bump up that to 200. Radius of 1.3 will probably work. Now our clarity setting is, is really going to make all the difference. I prefer to, let's take clarity to 10. I prefer to actually bump up the structure more because that's going to bring out finer details in her, um, in her eyes. Let's go to something like 60. And now let's apply, let's apply the mask, get our brush tool in. And you want to have a nice hard edge on your brush and you want to make sure that it is the perfect size for the um, for the eye. You don't want it bleeding off into, um, into other areas. And you can see instantly the effect that that's having on our eyes. Let's just bring up the uh, mask and brush away any excess that's Lap, overlapping onto her, her eyelid or into her eyelashes. Now you could go in and remove it from the um, from the retina as well, but I I don't think it's going to have much of an effect in in this image. Okay, let's turn that mask off, and you can see if I toggle the effect on and off now, what a dramatic effect that that's having, and even when we zoom out, you can see that that has really just enhanced her eyes and um, you know, really made them the focal point of the image. Now these, these settings are, are just guidelines. You can feel free to you know, fiddle around with them depending on um, you know, what, what's gonna work for your model and the, and the image that you're working with. In fact, I'd probably, you know, I'd probably even bump up the brightness. Maybe that's taking it a little bit too far. And another setting that you can play around with is your high dynamic range setting. Uh, I don't know if it's going to have the desired effect on, on this image, but sometimes helps to actually boost up your um, your shadows in um, in this effect, and and really just bring out all of those areas in the eye that are that are, are a little a little too dark. I'm going to leave it alone for for this image because I think that's pretty much just right. Um, but that's that's it. That's it done. That's really quick, easy, simple way to enhance a model's eyes without making them look unrealistic.